Okay, are we ready? <laughs> yes. okay. Woo! Thank you, everybody. For um, so we haven't come up with a real name for our project yet, but uh, we're, we're toying around with names. Embodied uh, maze, perhaps. Oh, let, me grab, let me grab power so I don't have to have. Hey, Byron. The white going on. Either that got it. Cool. That's awesome. Otherwise, my my team has sleep settings. So we. Um, got the idea of integrating the, the Wii uh, in game controller into Unity 3D uh, essentially as a, a really great entry point into doing more complex physics, um, much more rich, beautiful environments. Um, basically all the things that game engines do really well that are really hard if you're trying to build things from scratch. So we had a lot of different ideas about how the motion might uh, translate into action and interaction in the game. Uh, what we have is a very basic demo uh, of the system uh, without a lot of special features, without much interesting motion analysis, but a really great first step into uh, doing something cool with it. So, uh, do you want to uh, um, try or shall sure. I? Sure, uh, I'll, I'll get up here. So, uh, Basically, as you can see, we uh, taped the remote to the top of this basketball, <laughs> and uh, Byron spent some time using some power tools, and he made a modern but uh, rudimentary pogo ball, <laughs> which we're not actually going to use to jump with right now. But um, probably could. yeah, we probably could. Uh, but we're yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna connect it. We hooked it up to the Unity 3D. Uh, we played around with a lot of different uh, ideas, as he said, but this is what we have now for a micro project. And I'm going to do a little demo. So you can see. Okay. Oh, it's oh. difficult. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's easy when you have a table next to you. You want a chair? Nice. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. So then you can add more balls. Oh. Oh. So that's my, my uh, this is my demonstration, but if anybody's welcome to come up here and give it a try if you want. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be really bad. I'd love to try. We're basically, you know, we designed it with the idea that there would be a learning curve. It's going to be easy okay. to do it. Alright, how do I, oh, that's hard. So, so the balls, the balls will fly off if you make drastic movements. Okay. They can bounce up in the air as well. Nice. Awesome. I got it. Yay. Level two. No, don't go that way. Oh. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Almost. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Should someone else try it? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> I'll, do really I'll do a good tester of it because I'm really stinky at balance. So this would be a good game for you. Yeah, exactly. You learn how to balance. Essentially, the nice Ooh, thing about this square is there. <laughs> so, 
so that was about five minutes. So if you guys have any uh, finishing thoughts or, or if anyone has any questions, um, and then if you guys want to uh, uh, start setting up with the projector. Thank you. I guess we'd like to, um, to go ahead and just take feedback first, and then we can maybe ask questions. I enjoyed it. What it it, it would be mean? cool to make like a Pong type of thing. Because um, you have the up-down thing going on. So you can make it interactive maybe by having two players on two balls doing a Pong slider maybe. Mm -hmm. That'd be a really, or like an air hockey. Ooh, That's just what I was doing. <laughs> That's just what I was doing. It was very fun. I also really dig the sound effects. I think like, yeah, it would be right. cool to also um, make it into a musical instrument where um, the different blocks would have like different notes, you know, and um, you'd like enclose it so that the balls don't fall off. Like the game wouldn't have an object, but it would just be like touching the sides to play different musical notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that was. Go ahead. I was going to say, we I figured out about 1.30 yesterday morning that when you move the. Uh, the, the, the device for really far down, it was like kind of playing a drum on the target. Yeah. So we threw out the idea of what if we put targets all around it. Yeah, so for that, for that moment, we had a, we had a symbol that's actually attached to yeah. the, uh, that final destination mm -hmm. rather sound. I mean, so you, you, had a, you had a foot pedal symbol control, basically, yeah. which was really fantastic. Um, another idea that uh, I really wanted to explore was um, put, taking, and instead of having a, a flat plane, having more of a bowl form or something, to uh, move in, so now you can start to do orbital motions on this and start to build energy and get the, the momentum and maybe have to eject the balls out of the space that way. Or and then um, something else that I think we're going to continue exploring, or at least I am, is um, the idea of using the forward motion to actually move through the space as well, kind of like forward and backward to embody it. Right. And then I was also imagining kind of like a flying carpet or something. You know, Right, so, so that was that was another early idea was being able to navigate through a space with the sort of forward, back, side to side, but then you'd have a special special powers like if you could balance in the middle of the ball and, and <coughs> hold that balance for a while, then you would be able to levitate and uh, you know, things like that happen. So gravity would basically you know, decrease as you the better your balance got. Have you guys played Wii Fit at all? Yes. Um, we fit? It sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the balance for it, that, that game, there's that game in there. Very yeah. much so. But it doesn't have that. It's a different yeah. sort of thing. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the balance no, I always think about, you know, reduce and increase the difficulties, you know, or maybe the sensitivities, you know, for the for people to learn from the simple yeah. mm -hmm. to the hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, clearly the, the initial experience is it's fun, but it's I challenging. Am, yeah, for example, if the for example, if the people cannot follow us, cannot make the go finished, and could you think provide some additional media to help them to to improve their performance? And that, that's I th I think one of the best ways of doing that would be doing things where you aren't trying to balance something at first, but where you are more just directly going to say, okay, you know, left foot, right foot, left foot, you know, forward, you know, forward, basically more of a dance dance revolution kind of a system where you've got, you know, simple steps where you're going through transitions of balance, but you're always back to a stable point. That would be a good training because if you got practiced at that and start doing orbital motions, you know, those kind of things as practice, then before long, you'd find yourself able to balance and have much more control, so. Have you gotten a chance to play with a Segway before? I have not yet. Because they're, they're just like that. I was at Disney once and they had them. And it, it was exactly the same type of, it, as soon as you move to one side, it immediately starts going to one side. Right. So it's, it, it's, it's uh, I have so I have ridden a, a, a DIY <laughs> uh, <laughs> balancing skateboard, oh, okay. which is yeah, if you want to extend this project, I mean, for example, you want to extend this project to, to be a final ex project, I can give you one suggestion. Mm -hmm. Like, think about how to evaluate patient, uh, no, patient, sorry, user's <laughs> performance. <laughs> okay? For example, you have a goal to make the ball into the, into the big circle, right? Mm -hmm. That's the completion. Right. But you, you can see some users can f complete that in a very smooth, 
you know, movement. Yes. And some of them might not. Right. And uh, you know, obvious goal completion is not the only evalu evaluation stuff. And right. think about how the evaluation, you know, the user's quality. Right. So it might, it might be looking at jerk and things of that nature as as evaluation. Just think about it. 